Hello everyone. JE session two's answer keys have been released. We are still waiting for the session one's results. I know that, but uh, we hope that someday very soon the results for JE session one would also be released. So hello everyone. Yesterday night uh, the NTA has released the answer keys for the second session of JE. So anyone who wants to go and uh, check your answer keys, how much you've scored and things like that, you can definitely do that. As always, it has come up in the JE's uh, website. The link for the same, we would I would request the host to please share it in the live chat box. You can go to this particular website, which I think most of you would already be quite familiar with. You click on the JE mains 2022 session two. That's where uh, paper one, paper two A, paper two B, that is BR, BTEC, B plan, everything, all the answer keys would be visible there. Okay. You'll be taken if you click on that you'll obviously be taken to a third party website and you can click okay on this and you can log in either using a replication number and password or you can log in using a replication number and let's say date of birth okay either way application number is important please note in the further days to come there is counseling that's going to begin and things like that so application number is something that is important so i think uh, even during the beginning of the counseling we had told that application number is something that's quite important so please please do write it down somewhere okay it's, it's quite important um, you give your credentials, you can uh, log in through any of these things. You give your credentials and log in, you will be able to see a screen like this. Okay, so you have your uh, BR, B plan, answer key, the question paper here. Now, there are two things here, two, two important things to note. The first thing that you need to note here is the question paper. So you click on that particular thing, the first thing BR can be planned. This particular student of whom we have taken this screenshot has written BR can be planned. No, they have it written BTEC. So that's why BR can be planned alone is visible. Click on BR be planned. You will be able to see the entire question paper and most importantly, the answers that you have written or the answers that you have marked. So one of the best uses of this is obviously to calculate where exactly you are standing, what's your score. Obviously in BR, you're not going to get your drawing marks. It's something that has to be decided by the person who is evaluating. So that's the first thing that you can figure out from this. You can sort of calculate your marks. You can compare it with your students. There are groups in, uh, there, there is a group in Telegram. So you can compare, you can get an idea of where exactly you're standing. The second thing that you can do is you can challenge the answer key. So unlike a lot of other exams, NTA is a little bit more open towards challenging and things like that. So you can challenge the answer key. So to challenge the answer key, you click on that particular uh, option itself. Click to view slash challenge the answer key. You click on that again, there are two things that will be visible. The first thing is that you will be able to see your correct answers. You'll be able to see the correct answers, which NTA is saying that is correct. Okay. So page like this would be visible. You'll be able to see the question ID. You will also be able to see the correct options slash answers. So that is the designated answers as per NTA in this particular session. Now in the options, options ID for challenge. Let's say, let's take the first question. The first question, correct option that's given 101, 201 question ID. The correct option that's given is C. Let's assume that you feel that option A or option B is the correct one. What can you do? You can check on option A or option B or both option A and option B, or even you can click on none of these and you can proceed. So that means you are challenging that particular question. Mathematics part one, section A, question ID 101, 201, you are challenging it. Okay, so which answers you feel is correct, you can click it and uh, at the bottom, if you scroll, this is just a screenshot. So if you scroll to the bottom, you'll be able to see all the questions and at the bottom, you'll be able to see a submit option. Please note, there is a non-refundable payment that you have to give. Okay, for each question, you can challenge as many questions as you want, but for each question that you're challenging, you'll have to give 200 rupees. Okay, so you pay that using debit card, credit card, net banking and all, you can pay that. And uh, usually what happens, usually the procedure is that within the next, let's say uh, two to three days, they'll give you a corrected answer key. If they also agree with your point, okay? If they don't agree, they're not going to change it. But if they feel that it has to be corrected, they'll correct it and that will be the new and final answer key. And based on that, you can calculate. And based on that, hopefully the results would be coming up in the next few days. Okay. So session one, session two for uh, BR results are being awaited. We hope that it will be releasing as soon as possible. To everyone who is preparing for NATA third exams, all the best. Hope you're doing your best. For everyone who wants to join or who's planning to take a drop year or contemplating on whether to join uh, or repeat and all, 
for UC NIFT and ID or JE NATA entrance exams, we have our courses and new batches that are starting. So you can contact us at 8086-111-488. Okay. So that will be it in this particular live until we see in the next one. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, host.